this is Winwood. It's an early access game. I picked it up in the uh, Steam sale over the weekend. So you are basically captain of a ship. You can see I've uh, played this a bit. I have two things in my car. Some people trying to get to Erin Castle and um, a map. Which I need to find Ludridge. Each each place that you visit has a, has a number of quests. Here we are. So I'm fairly sure I've already got this discover Ludridge thing. I can't I can't at this moment. is full. Anyway, I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, I could possibly save up to uh, buy a bigger ship with more cargo. It looks like I could buy some iron and make a profit. So, it's basically a sailing, trading, RPG simulator. Just, just a few combinations of things. I'm going to set off, set sail into the high seas here. It's my mini map up the top. I'm going to see if I can find any of these uh, towns I'm supposed to be finding. a few towns down here towards the bottom so I'm going to see if any of these ones are actually uh, Ledridge. I don't think they are. Alright, both reports, so let's not stop there. Welcome Captain. Let's carry on. Airing Castle. Oh. I completed a commission. So now I can do something else. What quest haven't I done yet? I've not discovered that yet. Boating port. Right, I know where that is. So let's accept that commission. Okay, so this is the RPG type element. I uh, I kept selling into things earlier on, so I, I bought a reinforced hull. I don't think I've got any cannons yet, I'm not sure though. Let's, let's do that. There we go. And the controls um, are, if you're my sort of age, they're like the last V8, which is a game I was terrible at. Or if you're a bit more modern, like the original Grand Theft Auto, where you steer left and right. Still left and right. Let's buy some fishing tools from Fighting Port, shall we? Cargo. Sure, I'll work 
get one way out to crisis. size of that ship. So let's go and sell this fishing stuff. I have no idea if this is a good place to sell them. Nope. So you get these things floating around in the water. Which you sail over to pick up. So, like I said earlier, this is an early access game. So one of the things that isn't really there is uh, a proper tutorial, I don't think. It's quite hard to work out what's going on. Like, I still don't know if I'm doing it right. Even now. profitable. Let's ferry some passengers. Oh, they're looking quite fancy. So this is this so far, as far as I can tell, is the is the game. There is some combat somewhere along the line, that's where you've got the cannons and all, all that malarkey. I've not yet figured out how to do combat, but you can choose to be a pirate, sailing sailing the seven seas, attacking, attacking other ships. I suspect if I try that at the minute, I would die quite badly. So I wonder if this line is actually what I'm supposed to be doing. Let us follow it and see what happens. A uh, good tip, maximize profits by using quests and cargo at the same destination. No, it wasn't fighting tour, it was Erin Castle I wanted. Ooh. Go and pick up that cargo, that box of whatever it is. You know what that's one of? It's one of something. If you crash into the land, then basically you damage your ship. And then you have to uh, pause and repair. You get sort of a flame animation. I don't want to stop. Go. Erin Castle. That was where we wanted to go, wasn't it? There we go. So I'm building. I'm building stuff up. I need to discover the Ledridge. Hunt down a pirate. So yes, I'm not sure how you figure out what your active quest is. Oh, is that a pirate? Or, uh, clearly I've accepted some quests, but then they seem to disappear, so you can't check and see what's going on with them. Um, but it is basically, uh, you know, an RPG in boats. Quite, quite pleasant to look at. Uh, quite, quite nice all around, I think. Um, I'm looking forward to see what happens as the as the game develops.